Welcome back to another Tour Truck Tuesday. This week, I am changing gears. I'm going to give you front row seats to a golf lesson that I received from Player Advisory Board member here at TaylorMade, Mr. David Woods. He's also the co-creator of the Pro Sender with Sean Foley, PGA Tour coach. This is a brand new device. It was filmed back in November with this prototype part. It releases today. There's more details about this in the description below. Be sure to watch this to the end as I start striping it as I work on downswing positions, impact, and we get the ball flight we're after. David, thanks for your time. Check it out. This is the interesting piece from so what you're talking about. This is obviously a prototype piece. The end product will have the ball shaved off here and it'll be more of a sphere. So it'll be flatter on the bottom. It'll mm -hmm. look like that, like a dome. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that, that will give you room to move it up and down depending on where you want it to be. And the purpose of this, we want this ball to squish upon itself. Most balls that you see are either solid or blown up, right? We want this to co completely compress because when you move your wrist angles toward each other and create a force vector on the grip, it helps you shallow. And you'll see that once you start messing with it. But um, So your elbow, mm -hmm. you like to see it go this way. Yeah, but I don't. it doesn't have to do that. When you, you see players do a lot of different things, right? So you, you, you'll see that guy, mm -hmm. right? But you'll also see guys that are trailing a little bit. But if the elbows have a little bit of room, that's okay for me. When we talk with Foley, the, the big part of this is what Foley sees what he credits to helping Lydia Ko resurrect her career using a very small ball. You had mentioned uh, Keimer. Keimer using that tennis ball for a long time. So the, the, the size of the ball to give a little bit more of a pressure and torque in the grip, mm -hmm. which will force into a little bit of shallowing. Okay. And that's when the cradle comes in and you'll, you'll, you'll experience that in the middle. So I brought you both so this is kind of like the end product of what it's going to look like however it's going to have more of a memory foam inside mm -hmm. because after repeated hitting you want uh, a little softer on the back of the hand it's got a carbon feel to it it's got a carbon finish to it okay. yeah yeah carbon finish okay. so when you put it on it's yep. it's been molded in the shape of the back of your hand at a proper so the, position these the are top. both the same size just They're that one's same. got the Everything's same yeah okay and this is there's one size this is one size so we've okay. got it where it's wide enough yeah to if you know affect all sizes of hands mm -hmm. let me grab a club yeah, so right. i can feel it it's a training aid mm -hmm. but it's an aid that is not forcing you into position because that's my big complaint with training aids is once you take it off can you replicate what you're trying to do and this is incentivizing you to get to a position not mm -hmm. forcing you. Mm -hmm. So your job at the top is to lay it back into this cradle, mm -hmm. which has been created to be kind of to our average uh, extension of the right wrist. We all know there's different, everyone does it a little bit different, but what I'm trying to create is- How did you get that uh, degree? Through, through gears, Yeah. looking at that degree. Yeah. Um, and also we're trying to create what I would consider like an Adam Scott position at the top. Not crazy bowed, not super extended. We want flat left wrist, slightly bowed, seen this um and get you in a spot where we can incentivize you when you change direction to feel this on the back of your hand and that's where the memory foam what comes the foam in. is in you for, want to yeah. feel that yeah. and you, feel you the want compression, to be intuitive yeah. and that's why that direction. goes like that well and and that's also if why this is that. a three and one yeah. you can you'd start with this get comfortable then you add the ball for another element yeah and then you can also take this wrist band off yeah get rid of the the wrist angle and just use the ball Okay. For chipping, putting, or or connection. Why uh, do people lose their positions so much in the downswing? Because they're pulling hard on the handle. Because right? they're not rotating. You, you steepen, mm -hmm. you pull down on it, you're going to come out of the cradle. Mm. And what we're trying to do is incentivize you to feel like there's a little squish, a little lay down. So if people get this, the worry is what the shot shape will be. Right. But here, here, here's here's the the piece that gets away from it. So you've seen other aids that, that hold you in a position mm -hmm. with your wrists. That forces you into a certain shot shape at the bottom, right? Because you've got massive lean if you're being held. So we want you to be able to hold that angle and feel it in the back of the cradle through P6, right? You got trailing calm behind the hand path. Mm -hmm. But from there, it doesn't hold you. You have the freedom to release it on any pattern that you choose. So if you're a roller, right? Or if you're a square releaser, or you're a hold off for Fleetwood, you can do that. But you see like Rory, there's a video the other day I saw on Instagram where Rory does this, he kind of, you know, is 
practicing his field out of golf club. He takes his right hand, he's pushing his hand to the ground. You've seen that video, right? That's that sensation. How do you have a long extension of the arms while you're still maintaining lag, not forcing lag, into P6 so that you can rotate and release? We don't want something holding you in a position that when you take it off, you don't know where to go. So we want to incentivize you. Okay. At the top of the backswing was like waiter and tray. So he would talk about being a waiter, yep. holding cocktail glasses or whatever. 100%. And this is a similar kind of thing, right? Yep. There. So you want to add pressure onto this on the way down if you can? I just want you to maintain a gentle pressure. We're not trying to create a bunch of force. Just okay. lay it in there, feel like it stays in there a while. Got to rotate. Mm -hmm. Be great for wedges, wouldn't it? And think about uh, teaching someone like a little, you know how hard it is for the average player to lean the shaft at impact? Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 good point, right? yeah. So that one, just feel it in there a bit more. Yep. And while ma maintaining the feel of it on the back of your hand, go to P6, last parallel. Okay. But you want to see there. Right there. I want to see, I want to see center of mass behind the hand path. And now as this thing lowers, this is going up and left. Center of mass, so head behind. Club head yeah. behind hand path. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. as the grip goes up and left, the club head goes out and down. Yeah, yeah, Right? Yeah. It's going that way. Yeah, okay. So you got to feel a little. Some, yeah, there. Feel a little bit more. Give me a little bit more of that. You can see these divots are going right. Yep. So that's not doing what you're talking about. There. And then you wanted to feel like this. Right? Yeah. Up, yeah. Up, 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 up. Okay. Rather than when you get here, what you were showing me inside or earlier, mm -hmm. you want to feel a little lowering. Mm -hmm and pressure back like that. Mm -hmm. Getting a little, yeah, just yeah. a touch, just a touch. Yeah. Well, I think the, the more you feel constant pressure here and not push pressure, don't push it in there, just feel natural pressure. And that, that's why I like the landing feeling for you because as you're landing, this transition can be soft instead of any pull down. I actually like that strike right there. That was close. So why is that a pull then? Club had gone outside the hand path at P6 there. You know what I mean? Yeah, because that's again a golf course shot for me. Yeah, yeah. So Especially when I'm like doing off speed okay. shots. Okay, so if that's something that happens, yeah. at your last parallel, that club head has to be yeah, inside yeah. the hand so that when you pivot, yeah. it's still working on the zero line. If it gets out here and you pivot, you're going to hit it minus three, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I was close. That was, that was close right? Yeah. I went to a clinic a while ago with couples and uh, there was a green, obvious green, like 130 yards. And he aimed up right at the green because he hadn't hit any shots. And he loosened up, he didn't, he didn't hit one on the green until the end. And I think everyone in the seminar was like, he's just gonna hit at the green. And he deliberately just went 30 yards right at the green. I mean, there was no room right at the green. He just was like, he knew that I'm not being judged here until I'm ready to go. That's great. So I was like, oh, I like that. I'll do that next time I'm hitting balls. I just aim at something no one, I can't get anywhere near. <laughs> All right. Dude, that's face, buddy. Yeah, just do it. Yeah, I want someone to punch me if I don't get it. <laughs> anyway, you start throwing stuff at me if I don't get it then you've got to really open up on the way through. I do think though, like the thing you said, that, that where this is most interesting and we haven't hit any shots doing it, if you've got Happy Hamburger here who can't find impact, yep. how good's this oh, thing? totally. Where you're just getting them to hold it in there the whole time for a little lag. And how many punters do you get here? Totally. That's why we're making irons now that are like so strong. Shovel. Because they can't do that. 
They don't, and the reason they get away with it on this tee is they can't take divots. They can't get in there, you know? Yeah. Even right there, that face looks open to me from standing there. Again, like 90s tour, European tour as well, everyone wanted it open. And obviously, open. Yeah. yeah, and then I fit into the 2000s with like the Woosnams, yep. the Faldos, the Lyles, the Elathabals, open, open, open. Yep. And then you start going, oh, well, I'll set up like that. Yep. And then Cowan used to teach Bjorn and it used to be open yep. and then turn on to it. I mean, he's a great pitcher. You remember when he nearly won the open and it's like open, open, open. So the timing involved in that though is, is challenging. It is, but also the generation that you grow up through. 100%. And now obviously, um, you look, I swing it better, I move better. But to get in there, yeah. freaking difficult. Yeah, I, I, really I know you're not. I want you to be more Akala. Yeah. I want you to be Adam Scott. Yeah, yeah. I want you to have the freedom to get around the corner. He's six foot two and beautiful, though. I mean, that's yeah. difficult to do from five foot four. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to get there. All right, stronger grip. Get that handle going around the corner. There we go. It's a much better strike, that, wasn't it? Is it worth sticking one of these in? If I start missing left again, I'm not going to speak to you two guys again. <laughs> well, grips are open, everything's open. That's not open, right? Right. Right, exit left and up. See, that one felt close. I didn't get on my left side enough. I love the compression. I like the little left to right shape. Mm. I love that it's not digging deep for divots as well. I need to, I want to feel more on this. Thing. See, that's what I want to see with this training aid. That's what I'm saying. Like, hit a few where you feel like it's in there longer, but you got to go slower and build into it. Okay. There we go. And that's good to see it going the other way, like I say. Like all these things, you've got to work with them for a while. Let me see the grip go really around, following the hip on a string. On the way through. Because that's how I'm going to get rid of the left. So this is set up for ball position here. Just pull it this way a bit. How do you decide the angle of that? I like it about eight inches back. Yeah. And I like it on an angle that's incentivizing you not to hit it, but not making you hit it. Right? Yep. And I want it crossing the tip of this other line. Here. Got it. Think of it this way, like just I like to talk in like simplistic yeah. stuff, right? So if you got as basic as like the airplane wings making a hard turn, right? yeah. So if that's impact, how do we swing the grip on this plane line, right? How do we swing that grip on that plane line and not have it come up that way? Yeah, here? yeah, that's a good visual for sure. That was good. Nice divot. But that feeling is key. It's this P6 thing you're talking about with the head behind. Yeah, I can feel it against that now. Yeah, I like that. That's key. And then, you, like you say, yeah. So go just another slow one. And now you're gone with the right, right? There's no right there. That's on your target. Line. That's good. It's good. It's good. Okay, so really slow here because all I want you to do, don't even think about the ball. Just you're just maintaining that little bit of squeeze. There you go. Just just easy. So this is this would be protocol about 10, right? You add the ball now, it makes it more difficult. Because of what? Because you've got to really 
really be rotary, right? Because you're, you're, you're creating a little force on that grip. Okay. We're creating connection. Think about the guy that's chicken winging and yeah. installs his rotation. And well, yeah, that's me. Right? So this is just an added component. Get you to make sure you get around the corner. So see to me, like that swing right there, nothing wrong with it other than you're not landing in your left leg. That's why you hit a lot of the balls that go right for you is you've not created a any kind of forward pressure into the left side. Okay. So here, you can move that if it's not in the right spot. That's why we've given some room. So it might need to come a little bit more up here to hit your arm right. Because everyone's grips are different, so it has yeah. to be movable. Okay, yeah. See, you know what yeah. Yeah, definitely feels it. All right, and then the key for me is there, that P6, and then go. And I'll tell you what, you hit a ball heavy. Yeah. You hit a ball heavy, you're on your right side. Yeah. And I'm talking about when you're out playing. Yeah. If you're hitting it heavy, you're on your right side for you. Yeah. You've got to really feel a squish to that left side. It's and funny because... I think that's why um, off-speed shots, I'm not as good. Yeah. If I'm flat out, I'm yeah. fine. Yeah, yeah, you've lost your momentum on off-speeders. Okay. Yeah, I gotta get that ball low. That's making a big difference. I mean, that's beauty right there. Yep. That is awesome. Yeah, these feel good. Yeah. So can you hit longer clubs with it? Oh, yeah. We're gonna hit driver with it. You just need to yeah. be... I want you to start little like you did. So give me another like 60%er landing on the left leg. I mean, who wants to do that? Why would you want to hit it straight? Why would you want to do that? It's good. I do feel like when you get used to it, it takes a lot of the curve off. I mean, that's key. You like that? I do. Tell you, just for your game in general, that left-sided plant is really critical for you. Do you know what I find difficult and what I was worried a bit about today? You, you come here and you say to me, like, let's try and capture some content and stuff. It's all well said and done having you here. Right. You instantly feel good about whatever, because you have some good ideas. You know what I mean? And I always, whenever I get a text from you that's a video, I'm like, yeah, I feel good about that. I like it. I like it. But you have to, and it happened with that. And that's the first thing I've ever given more than five minutes. Like most training aids, I'm just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Except for alignment sticks, I think they're great. But you have to have some time with these things. You can't, which is what, you know, you just need time with stuff if you're going to use it. But I think... And, and I think the protocols are critical. They're key. And if you force people to do that, like we're pretty strong, you know, in our, in our kind of plan to... to yeah. Feel like this is we're creating a system it's not just you're not just buying a piece of but if you look yeah. at those swings every swing the back swing has been perfect on yeah. Oh, yeah. not made a bad right? back swing since no. i've had this on no. now the down swing yeah all right i think but i think for you like you said you spend a lot of time in the other you've got to go a little slower yeah while planting because when you go slow you kind of hang back yeah so slow but plant yeah so it's there, there you go. and then. I mean, that looks like turn and burn from there. I mean, how are you going to hit a bad from that spot? Now, like, even that one, I, I like that move right there. Yeah, I do too. I know, it's squeaky. Well, I prefer seeing it that way, though. Yeah, no kidding. But remember, I, I, I tell Austin this a lot. Like, when you hit that one that goes left, yeah. our eyes glaze over a little bit, right? Yeah. So you've got to understand the dynamic of why it goes left. And for you, the left for you is that P6, the club head, is on that mm. side of the hand, so and shit. you're you become a better rotator. Yeah. So you're rotating on a three degree yeah. left path. So I've got to hammer this P6. You, you got to get that way. So when you rip around that corner, this thing's pushing down onto the mm. zero line. Mm. It's funny because late '90s, early 2000s, I feel like I was here, yep. and I feel like a coach was saying to me like, "Get it more here. Get it more here." I need to find those videos. I've got an old camera somewhere. I need to find it. Yeah, I mean... Because it's hard to think listen, that I would listen, be here. You're rotating. Yeah. Okay? 
Well, I, I was here and then here. And, but if that club had, yeah, well, you were That rotating. was also the 90s. That was, yeah, yeah, and that's when equipment was dog -tied. Yeah. And every coach that I, that I had growing up taught you to post up, stay, keeping your back to the target, rolling your right hand over because yeah, the only me, way to yeah. get a, a club far when the, when the stuff was turn garbage was to turn it over. Yeah. Now yeah. the equipment's good. Why would we coach that way? Yeah, okay. These are feels, right? You're going to feel like this club is behind yeah. you. Yeah. But well in the ground, in the left side, and then you're just spiraling. Right? In the grip, ground, grip, left grip, side, yeah. Like when you spiral, you can't let the grip drift. It's got to go up and left. Yeah. So I stopped rotating. Yep. There we go. I love that. That's beautiful. So land, get around that corner. I like that. Mm. But I do like your practicing at this pace. It looks better to me. That one was a bit quicker, yeah. Yeah, but, but that's a good pace. That's still not your... No, 100%. That's the feel. That's where you want to be right there. Feel and then round. Feel and round. Come on. I mean that. I like that too. Yeah, I do too. Look at the trajectory on it. I mean, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah. And get that grip going left. That's pretty damn close to what you're looking for right there. Yeah. And re remember, what, what, is, what do you say to yourself when you hit that shot? on the golf course uh, after I've told you what to say to yourself. What, what happened? Well, that... Thank you. Yeah. Because if you... But what I say to myself would not be, oh, you're there in P6. It would be, listen, you cock, you've just missed left. That's the problem. <laughs> and then you're going to do it three more times. Well, what I'm going to do to save it, I'm going to start doing this still because that ain't going to change on the golf course and I'm going to start going like this. Okay, but I'm saying in order to move and progress as a player. I have to get this to, fixed. You don't even have to change in the other day, but you better be able to recognize what you yeah, did to yeah, cause it. Yeah, because yeah. looking at it and saying F off yeah. does not change the pattern. The if way you don't know why that happened. Well the way I'm playing good golf now, I think is here and then just this way. Yeah. And just held. Yeah, I play yeah. like that all day. You're also costing yourself distance and it may not matter right now. But yeah. wouldn't it be great if you could get it more into the proper P6 and send it? Well, the reason I know that something's a bit funky is every now and again, I'll hit like a mid iron that goes five yards longer. Right. And I'm like, what? That, it felt great, looked great. Yep. Something's not right. Yeah. So I'm aware of it. That, that's what I want you to be more aware of. Like when you hit that one, I don't want to be like, oh, I just missed that a little bit. No, why? Why? Did yeah. You? The problem is when you get, the thing here, when you get on track, man. So you're making a video and you get on track, man. You're a little bit steep. And the path obviously is going a bit this way. So what you do to fix it, because you're making a video, you just Turn. <laughs> aim right and pull everything. You gain speed on the video so it looks like a good video. Yeah. The numbers are great, but you're hitting it like, McGinley played golf like that. McGinley made money like that. Yep. And you basically hit, and I go back and watch the edit and I'm hitting drivers like Paul McGinley. Yeah. And I'm like, and then I think, well, if I, I like to stand here then and try and stand open and push, but it's all the same movement. Yeah, I don't think you want to be, uh, play a push draw for you. I don't, I don't think so. No, in an ideal world, I want to get here. Here, I know, and that's to, what we got to focus on. Well, to be honest with you, I, I, say this I think this is good is for me. I think it's good for me. Than anything else for you. Yeah, right now, for right sure. Now, because you've done some good job with other stuff. But I do think, though, that the, the people that benefit from this and this is why I think this is valuable. I, I benefit from this, yep. but I, it's, I'm not, the reason so, you, so here, here's, you get people using this purely for impact. But what does the over the top guy do here? He goes this way, this no? way, the right away you're out of the pocket. Yeah. So the over the top guy who's 20, his protocols might be, you're not even gonna hit a ball for uh -huh. a month. You're gonna be like, do you feel this? Do you feel this? Do you feel this? Mm -hmm. Do you feel this still there? Yeah. This is a different pattern for that guy, right? Yeah. And do you feel that over there? Yeah. Okay. And then you just pivot. There's so many things you can build. So, how about just building understanding of what the correct thing is to, yeah. to do? Because that guy doesn't even know where to go. I mean, that's awesome. That was really good. Get used to it here. Right, this one's for you, Greg. You ready?
And I actually quite like this. Trapper, I quite, you can see from some of these elephants, it's taken me a while, but I actually quite like it. So this sphere then, I mean, I've just got this in here now. I'm not even thinking about it. Right. Should I be or what? You feel it though. You, it's, you know I'm it's conscious it's there. That's enough. Okay. That's enough. And then the heavy ones for me, we're saying, and, yeah. And it's making you conscious to, to put a, a, a bit of a torque on the grip through impact. I mean, you weren't hit. I mean, you weren't hitting them like that. Let me put this even a tiny bit. Like, really get it down there. Yeah. Right? Because it's squished. That's the, the genius of the ball, right? It's got so much squish that it's not in the way, even if it's bumping a finger. Yeah, yeah. No, it's good. It's better than uh, the other, the inflatable stuff. So that is drawing. Why? Why? It's not drawing. That was a pull hook. Oh, so it's out there. Yeah. Okay. End of story. Like you, you got to put that in the memory bank so you only do it one time. So the ones that aren't, they're starting left. So yeah, they're starting. we're starting a lot of shots left here. They're outside the hand okay. Easy fix. That's why, that's why I want you to be engaged with it. Because then you don't do it twice. That wasn't far off, though. It was perfect. It was right on your target. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Manly, we were talking about earlier about like how we all look up and in disgust at a bad shot instead of looking up and be like calmly what happened and, what? and, and have a, an answer. And I think that's why we're doing this so we're not playing. Yeah. Because those boys, right. Dustin forgets about it before he's even got the next ball. Exactly. Is that underneath it? You're, you're a little that way. I, call, I just call it high handle, right? The handle comes off the plane. That's the track, Matt. But that's a social media fix though right there because yeah. that for me, I've got better here, but then I've exited that way. But, but like Manly just said, right? If you're late to the left side, if you plant, it's easy to turn and burn, right? Mm -hmm. But if you're, if you're like this, you're gonna drift that way. But if you're over here level, you can, you can rip that handle up and left. Yeah, nice, that's on your own. It's closer. Gives you that Fleetwood feeling. If that's what you want. All right, let's, how about I'm just gonna go better speed now. Yep, land first. That was a bad strike. I've been getting a lot of that. That's the first one I've hit today. Toe strikes. Okay. That's just out here and then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's so there's no point in going better speed because you're freaking not. How, how about better speed later? How about transition what we're working on? Yeah. I mean, just Better outward speed, right? What do you mean outward Exit speed? speed like Exit speed. speed Exit speed, yeah. Near, like near the low point. Yeah. I like feel like your speed's around the corner. Yeah. The second half of your swing. So that, that looks, that allows you to do this. That allows you to be kind of soft and, and, and lazy here. And then speed's on the left side of the ball. That's early speed. You're right. Now you look like like you just did this, and, and I think I think this matters. You hit that too quick from the top, and you equally grab the ball over twice as quick as you swing. Yeah, yeah. Take it down a notch. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because that that's now now your tone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. yeah. messed up for like 20 minutes in a session by yourself yeah yeah you're not stopping to like okay. yeah 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 definitely definitely it's like a member you got a ball in the air before the other one yeah 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 100 percent right there this is the So that is left just because it's not. Look at your line of rock. Where, where's it lined up? Was it left a yard? Yeah. I'm still potting though, aren't I? That's Meaning I want to be picking out of the hole. Put that thing down for a minute and go, go, 
Yeah. Pull, and pull it no, on, no, leave it on. Yeah. Just drop, get rid of the club. Pull yeah. Your driver and take the ball off. Okay. Did you start feeling the ball? I did. I, it was subconscious, yeah. but I put it real low for me. I like it. Can you do a walkthrough of the same feels? So it's got to be slow. Yeah. yeah. Keep it. I want you to really keep it behind the hand pad coming down, okay? Keep it there. And then the same thing. The handle's got to go up now. Up, up, up. Right. I, I want you to get there. And yeah. then I want you to absolutely be comfortable getting rid of the club head a little bit, okay? You're, you're holding on. You're losing ball speed. Getting rid of it. Just get rid of it on that plane line, but don't be afraid that it's going to hook. If you hit a hook, it will adjust. I think you're super late in here. I, I think you're going like this, and you're sawing off the ball. you, you got to let the club head move. You've got a square release. You're not going to do this. Look at You're not going to do that. You don't play that way anymore. Here, do that again. Show me what you're talking about. I want you to... I want you to square release it this way. Mm -hmm. And you're like this, you're mm -hmm. sawing it. Definitely. You're not gonna be this guy that you were when you were a kid. Okay. You trained yourself out of that. But you're okay. still scared that might yeah, happen. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, so you go this way. Yeah. And you hit it on a, you know, I'm sure when you're hitting it well. Yeah. And you add the, the square release, it's gonna go 10 yards longer. Yeah, I can get 173 sure ball speed out of it if I time it. Yeah, but, but it's not even timing. You've gotta trust that that thing can release. Yeah, I, I don't like doing that, but yeah. Right here. But you don't like doing it because the club head, look at the club head gets outside the hands and yeah, you release and it, it goes to pull left. hook. Yeah, yeah. But you get it in the pocket, you can send that thing to the ball and let the grip go up and left, but release That it. way. Yes. If you hook like almost like you're trying to hook it, but don't pull hook. There. That's close. See that a couple times. So in transition where you're softly laying in the cradle, yeah. land and then let it go. That felt quick, that was quicker. Good. That that left business for you with the weight is really important. I think that's what Dana was trying to say all that while back. Yeah. I only went once, just out of interest, yeah. but. Yeah, he's great. But you've got to get into that left foot. You got to feel the pressure. So when, when you're transitioning and you're feeling that club, here, let's stop at the top. So hang on. So when I started just doing this thing, standing into my left side. The error, and it makes sense now, it happened in the UK when I got there first time, played Sunningdale, I was pulling the shit out of it. And all I kept doing was trying to get into my left side and I was out here. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But, but your hand's off the cradle there. Dude, yeah, right? so you've got to get here yeah, and, and then. That's why I said, I don't want to hold your hand there because you yeah. can take it off and you're going to go back to that other bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to feel it. Like uh -huh. you've got to turn the brain on to feel. What does this feel like on the back of our hand? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Yeah, okay. Feel it on the back of your hand in the first part, you know, from P4 to 5. Yeah, okay? yeah. As you're landing, and like you've already landed, obviously, like yeah. in trans. And then send it. Like, go ahead and let it square release. There. That's close. It wasn't quite, but yeah. And the only reason that pulled... It's because it was outside. Okay, good. So you're going to feel a little bit like this ball is going to start more right. With yeah. The same move. Really get into that left side. Yeah, that was also outside. Right there, there, and then go. That was close. Okay. When you land, this has got to go square release that way. See how the face is still square? Yeah. Okay. You're scared to, so you go that way. You, I, I, you're. you're you're fleet wooding a nine iron with a driver in your hand that'll work because you got down force with the iron. You can't yeah. do that hitting up on it. It's going to spiral right. It's that way. But released hard, like boom, on the plane line. That's so it's almost like bounce it's on, not gonna hook. almost like bounce on a wedge. Yeah, that, 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 it's not going to hook from there. As long as you keep that center of mass trailing the hand pad, that last parallel, right? Center of mass trailing the hand pad. Back here, center of oh, mass, okay, 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 okay. I thought you meant release. To get over yeah, here. yeah, yeah, yeah. I okay. freaking love you it. You gotta yeah. be in here. Yeah. And then release it. Square. Okay, okay. All right, come on. I mean, that's close. Yeah, it's good though. 